Howdy mates, how are we doing? Here's a part two video. Still over at Celery Fields at the moment. But right now I'm actually visiting a little site located at the same place. So like the mound in the distance, that's where I was standing. So now I'm actually right by one of the water bodies. But as part of this video, I actually want to focus a little bit on the American alligator that is in the water right now, as you can see. So, the American alligator. Oftentimes, Florida is one of the only states where you can see them numerously. I mean, you can also see them in Mississippi, Alabama, Louisiana as well. But, the state reptile of Florida is the American alligator. Now, <clears throat> they are basically an apex predator that is in Florida. Now, what I mean by apex predator is they are on the very top of the food chain. They're like essentially the kings. So, it basically starts with them. Or it ends with them, I should say. Not start, but ends. So, since they're at the very top of the food chain, there is nothing else. There, there are no other predators that feed on the alligator. I mean, maybe except us. But other than that, during its life, nothing preys upon the American alligator. So... With their type of pores and skin, they prefer to be in freshwater habitat. However, you can see them every once in a while in brackish water, but it's very seldom. But they can't survive in complete salt water. They don't have the osmo regulation in their body that process that can process that type of water so that's why they can't survive in such a habitat but what's fascinating about the american alligator too is they're under a group of reptiles called the crocodilians yeah Here's actually another one that I stumbled upon. I'm not too sure though if, oh, there we go. It just went, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I passed through it earlier and it seemed like it was plain dead, but it is alive. Now, before I get into the alligator a bit further, please make sure to also keep your distance from wildlife too. I mean, from where I was standing, we were probably a good 30, 50 feet away. So always be sure to keep your distance. You don't want to get too close to them. But um, and pretty much my motto is, if you don't bother it, they won't bother you. But as I was saying, since they fall under the reptile group of crocodilians they're the only type of reptiles that actually care for their young for a couple of years before they're off on their own there are no other existent reptiles that do such a thing pretty much as soon as a reptile is born they are completely on their own so it's actually quite neat to uh, know that. Now, what's also fascinating about the American alligator is I'm sure many of you have seen their back. Looks like they have like those spikes on their back. Those are actually called osteoderms, which is basically a fancy way of saying porous bone. So, when you actually look at a sample of an osteoderm 
you can see that there are thousands if not millions of little holes in their bone in their bone structure excuse me the reason why they have those pores in their bones is so that blood can pass through easily because all reptiles are ectothermic so that's just a fancy way of saying that they are indeed cold-blooded so they have to use the ambient temperature you know from the Sun and the atmosphere to warm up their body and that's why they have those pores in their bones so that the blood can transfer transfer throughout their body now, like our bones aren't really porous because there's no need for it we already have warm blood in our body but they're a very neat creature and they're actually also considered to be a keystone species so a keystone species is basically where it describes an organism that acts as an ecosystem engineer and other forms of wildlife rely on that species so like for instance what american alligators do especially the mothers when they're along a stream bank or even along this uh, wetland they will actually dig these mud holes for them to hatch their young but once they stop using those mud holes it's used by other forms of wildlife you know especially the birds they'll use those holes to also help protect their young when necessary so essentially they act as like a gopher tortoise too and the best thing about that is the gopher tortoise is another reptile now another thing to look for because i'm sure many of you have had questions about you know knowing or differentiating the differences between alligators and crocodiles well for instance what you saw there alligators are typically when it comes to their teeth they only have teeth that come from their maxilla which is like their upper jaw but with crocodiles on the other hand they also have like two teeth that are found in their mandible that also you can see outside of their mouth so that's one difference to look for another is their snout shape so like with crocodiles it's more of like a pointed tip like a V but then with an alligator it's more of like a wider snout more like a U shape but really the best way to look to look for that particular difference is looking at it you know from the front it's a little harder to tell from say the side and what's really fascinating too is gender of an alligator is actually determined by the temperature of the eggs so like as I recall any eggs that are essentially around 89 or so degrees Fahrenheit or lower it's a female but then if it's higher than 89 it's usually most times a male isn't that amazing how temperature can actually determine what gender the alligator will be yeah they're just they're a really neat homie and they're great swimmers too that's their bodies are very streamlined they very seldomly walk on land and usually it's on land where they take the time to bask in the sun it's all right you guys 
Hope you enjoyed that little snippet regarding alligators and crocodiles. Yeah, they're just, they're a neat species. And yeah, pretty much like alligators aren't as aggressive. But obviously if you torment them, they're going to fight back. So it's just best to really let wildlife stay wild. So, alright, you guys, hope you enjoyed that video. Thanks for watching, and journey on a journey is outwards. Take care, folks. See ya.